Hi, this is the sixth video of my GTK series. In the last video, we'll learn about setters and getters function of GTK widget window. In this video, we can start learning how we can add more GTK widget to our GTK window. But before that, we must know the concept of GTK container. In this video, we are going to learn the same. So let's roll the intro and then get started. Alright, now the question is, what is a GTK container? GTK container is nothing but a container which can have exactly one more GTK widget. Yes, you heard it right. It has this limitation. You can add only one widget at a time. Also, our GTK window itself is a GTK container. So let's open our GTK tutorial directory in which we are keeping all our GTK code. And here, let's create a new file called GTK container or just simply container. Yeah, it's better container.c. Make it full size. And here we can start our code. Allow me to quickly write the basic code and then we will start with the container thing. All right, this is a very basic GTK code. We have already learned what will it do. Let me walk you through. This is GTK init. Here we are declaring our GTK window. And this is the definition of my GTK window. And these are basically show all function and GTK main loop function, right? You may already know what this all about if you are following this playlist now here I will declare one more GTK widget which is button we will learn about this button widget in the further videos but for just for demonstration I will be using this button widget let me declare GTK widget button one right and here I will define this button one as gtk underscore button underscore new underscore with label and here I will pass a string let's call it button one only right so I have declared a button don't worry I will explain this button widget in the further videos just follow for now yes the idea here is i want to add this button one widget to my gtk container and here it is my gtk window as i told you gtk window itself is a gtk container so the function here used is gtk underscore container underscore add since we are adding a widget to our container and it require exactly two arguments first is the gtk container so here the widget is window and second is the widget you you want to add so i want to add button one perfect all right this will give a warning so let's typecast this to a gtk container Notice I'm not typecasting it to a GTK window. I'm typecasting it to a GTK container. All right, that's all. Let's save it and open a new terminal and make changes to our make file 
I hope by now you know what is a make file is. If not, I will drop this card and link in the description box so that you can watch that make file video. Yes, now let's give the name exactly what our program name is container. Let's copy and paste it here. Right. So let's run a make command. And oops, I did a typo here. It should not be uh, argc, it's a vector, argv. And one more typo I did. Okay, I misspelled the label. All right. Clear the screen and run the make command again. So you see, no errors, no warnings. It's the perfect. Now we can run our binary, which name is container. The so dot forward slash container. Enter. Yeah, you see this teeny tiny GTK window, and you see button one label is written in the center. But actually behind the scene, what exactly this is, this is a GTK window having a GTK button. All right, please notice when I click this button, the color will change. I hope you can see this changes. I press the button, I release the button, press, release, press, release. So. This complete window is now a button. So this is how a GTK container work. It will add your widget to the entire window. Now, let me give you proof that it can only have one widget at a time. So let's make a new button, which is exactly identical to it. Uh, we will just change the name and all. Let's copy this and paste it here name it gtk widget button 2 right and in the definition also we will copy and paste make it gtk button 2 and here also button 2 now just try to add this button to your gtk container all right so let me walk you through. This is the declaration of second button. This is the definition of second button. It's GTK button new with label. And I gave the label as button two. And finally add to my GTK container. So let's make it again and run it. And you see our teeny tiny GTK window having only button one but we have added this button to where is it so just read this warning gtk warning attempting to add widget with type gtk button to gtk window but as a gtk bin subclass a gtk window can only contain one widget at a time so that's what i was telling you it already contains a widget of type gtk button so you may now worry how can i add button 2 so it's simple you can remove gtk button 1 and add button 2 so to remove the function is gtk container remove and the parameters are exactly same. So let me copy and paste. It required two parameters. The first is GTK container. And second, what widget you want to remove. So I add button one here. Now I want to remove button one and I'm finally adding button two. So you probably see this time button two displaying on the center. We 
we make it and now let's run it so yeah this is our gtk window and now i can see button 2 and no warnings coming here press it you also notice this click events so the summary is we can add only one widget at a time to our gtk container but wait a second it's doesn't sound like a real world problem in the real world scenario we need many different widgets like label text box radio button checkbox button submit button drop down so there must be something which can make it possible so in the next video i will be telling you one more container type which is gtk box using gtk box you can add more than one widget to your gtk window so yes that's all for this video we learn the new concept of container and how we can add or remove widget from the container thanks for watching give this video a like share with your friends and tell them how they can build gui applications using c programming language all right catch you in the next one